Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your first JavaFX project in NetBeans IDE. So hopefully you have uh, downloaded and installed NetBeans IDE. So to create a JavaFX project in NetBeans IDE, you just need to go to the file and then click the new project here. And in here you will be able to find uh, some categories and in the categories you will be able to find this java fx category also okay so just choose this java fx category and the project type we want is the java fx application so just choose the java fx application here and then click next and then it's going to activate java fx for you okay so just wait until uh, the java fx is activated and once JavaFX is activated on your NetBeans, it's going to give you uh, this kind of interface which will ask you for the name of your application, right? So for example, I just want to name my uh, JavaFX application as JavaFX application itself, okay? So just give the name here. This will be the location where your uh, JavaFX project will be, uh, you know, created and then you have the project folder okay and it's going to use jdk 1.8 which is uh, installed on my uh, system and you have this uh, option which says create application class so just uh, leave it as default and then click finish so what it's going to do is it's going to create a JavaFX project for you and it's going to create a main class for you also. So you see this is the you know default project which is created by JavaFX for you and when you compile and run it it's going to show you uh, let's see what it shows. So just click this uh, run button here. It's going to build your project first and it's going to run it. So let's wait for uh, the building process and once it's compiled successfully, it's going to run our application. So you can see our application is running and it says uh, say hello world and once you press this button, the hello world is printed here. Okay, so that's all fine but what this code and uh, what this code is doing here so we will see uh, this code one by one and what we will do is we will just uh, for example delete everything from here so that uh, we can write our code once again same as this one and we will see what is this code doing step by step so I'm going to just delete whatever is in the start method. Okay. So this is the bare bone, uh, you know, class. So first of all, you create a class for uh, JavaFX as we have named our project as JavaFX application. So it has created the JavaFX application class for us. So first thing you need here is to extend your class with this application class. Okay and when you uh, extend your class with this application class this method has to be overwritten which is start okay and this method is inside the application class which is launch and this method has to be called inside your main method okay so this is our main method and this launch method should be called inside your main method and this is responsible for launching your uh, you know app right so just call launch in your main method with this argument okay now we need to override this uh, start method and you can see this start method has uh, the argument which is stage argument right so this is a class and uh, we are using the stage class to uh, you know provide the argument from start and this is the stage which is responsible for your uh, JavaFX for example window so stage is the very basic uh, you know uh, part of your uh, JavaFX application so once 
you have this stage you can just copy this uh, primary stage and when you just paste it inside your uh, start method and call a method called uh, show what it's going to do is let's save it and let's run it once again and what it's going to do is it's going to give you this kind of empty window so this is the stage for you now inside the stage you need to have scenes and inside the scene you will be able to you know uh, have your layouts and inside the layout you will be able to have your widgets like buttons and labels and other things right so what we are going to do next is uh, for uh, uh, creating the scenes and for the layout first of all we need to have a widget so for example we will need to add a button to our uh, uh, you know layout so just write button and uh, I will name my button object as btn is equal to new button and uh, this button takes uh, one argument which is the text which is shown on the button so for example I will just pass one argument which is a string and I will just say click me okay so this will be the text which is shown on the button now in order to uh, you know uh, show this button on some layout we need to create a layout okay so JavaFX has uh, different layouts for example uh, horizontal box or vertical box or stack pane we are going to use a layout called stack pane so just write stack pane here and uh, we are going to name this layout as root for example okay is equal to new stack pane and then what we are going to do is we are going to take this root object and then we are going to get the children so just write get children and then we will just call a method called add okay and we will add this button object here in the add arguments okay and after this so we have the layout and inside layout we have added the button now we need to create a scene so just write uh, scene and create a scene object and we can name our scene as scene itself is equal to new scene and uh, once you have the scene object what you can do is you can uh, just pass this root object here okay so you create a scene and you pass your layout inside your scene right now once you have layout and scene you just need to just call this primary stage and then just call a method called set scene and then pass your scene object here which is this one here okay so this is your basic uh, you know uh, layout for your uh, JavaFX uh, scene and stage right so we will save our project and uh, run it again and now it's going to give us uh, this kind of uh, you know button inside the scene which is inside the stage okay but you can see when I run this it's going to give us the minimum width and height according to the button so to set some width and height to our scene you go to this object once again which is scene and then it takes two argument one is the width and second is the height so for example I am going to give 500 by 300 here and then save my program and run it once again then my scene would be 500 by 300 okay so now it has width and height here okay now for example I want to uh, give some action to my button so when I want to press a button and I want to print hello world so how can I do this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my button object here and in here just below the declaration of button object I'm going to set an action to my button. So just write dot call a method called set on action here and it's going to take one argument which is uh, event handler for your button so just write new 
event handler so new event handler and just press this uh, IntelliSense which says event handler here and now it's going to automatically create this uh, override method for us which is for this uh, event handler okay so right now it says uh, inside the handle method we are throwing some uh, you know error so instead of this you can uh, just uh, print something so for example I want to print uh, some uh, message for example hello world inside uh, this handle so for example when the button is clicked I want to print hello world so inside the handle method you just need to uh, just write system dot out dot print line hello world this uh, here so this is going to print some message on the console okay so this is how this button press event will work so just save your code and once again uh, run your code by clicking this button and now it's going to run this code and now when I click this button click me it's going to print this message hello world here so I can uh, just click this multiple times and every time when I click this button it prints hello world here okay so this is how the basic JavaFX program wa works inside your NetBeans IDE. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please write, comment, subscribe and bye for now.